this week's vlog, I'm going to give you my complete foam rolling routine. All you need is a foam roller, a rumble roller, or a regular roller, a lax ball or baseball, whatever you need, whatever you have access to. You know, I use this with, with a lot of my athletes. I use this when I played pre and post game, and it worked out great for me. I saw some great results. I recovered better. And, uh, you know, now I'm going to show you guys this routine. Also, I'm going to show you some new rolls that you might not be doing that you should be doing that are going to, um, you know, really improve your recovery. All right, guys, we're going to start with a little cross ball. You guys can use a baseball too, um, either or work. We're going to start right on the glute. This is one of the most important things. Um, so just sit on the ball. This doesn't tick, obviously. Um, so you want to just sit, um, put as much weight as you can on it just for a second. You know, find a tight spot, breathe, take a couple deep breaths here. Then I want you to roll around a little bit, nice and slow. Slow controlled movements always with the foam rolling or the lax ball rolling, whatever you're doing, you know. The fascia only responds to slow and controlled movements. So you want to be as slow as possible, slow and deliberate as possible. Also, if you can add pressure too as well, we'll go through that um, as we get going here. But you know, if you can add more pressure, that's obviously going to improve, improve as well. Um, so yeah, so once I roll, I find a tight spot. I'm breathing on it. Take a couple deep breaths, and then I'll drop this foot down. And I'll add a little movement to it. So I'll work that tight spot. Keep it going. Okay. And I, I'm just gonna do one at a time, guys. I'm not gonna like go through the whole routine. It's probably take about 20 minutes, but you wanna spend like you wanna do 10 to 20 passes on each muscle. Well, with the glute, with the lax ball, you wanna go about one to two minutes. That's the one you want to take a good amount of time on. So it's a obviously a big muscle. So now we're gonna move to the hamstring. You guys don't have to have the rumble roller, you can use you know, whatever roller you need to. Um, I use a rumble roller because I've been using, I've been rolling for a while. So with this, I'm just gonna cross my leg to add a little more pressure on my, my hamstring. I'm just gonna roll nice and slow and deliberate. Like this is the speed you should be working at. You shouldn't be going like this. You're not getting anything out of it. Um, foam rolling sucks, nobody wants to do it, but the, you know, if you go fast, you're not really getting anything out of it. So you wanna go slow and de deliberate like this right on your hamstring, cross your foot. And now I'm gonna move on to my IT band. So. I'm gonna go right on the side of my thigh here. I'm gonna cross my leg over. I'm gonna get right here like I'm doing like kind of a side plank. I'm gonna roll right up to my hip, all the way down to my knee, just above my knee. I'm just gonna go nice and slow. This again hurts pretty bad, but so all the way up to the hip, all the way down to the knee. Okay. Now I'm gonna move on to my um, inner thigh, my adductor. So with this. Um, so this I hit like three different spots. Um, I don't know if you can see in the video. But I'm gonna hit my inside, like my groin. I'm just gonna stay there for this. So I'm just gonna stay right in there. You have to move this around a little bit, but play with it. I wanna get right in that groin. Where that hip attaches. So I'm gonna go like 10 reps there, and then I'm gonna work out. So I'm gonna get like right in the middle here. I'm just gonna stay there for a little bit couple rolls, 10, 10 rolls. I, I recommend 10 rolls on each, but, and then I'm gonna come out here to my VMO, and I'm just gonna, you know, roll here. I like doing adding movement to this too, like right on the VMO, because this is really tight on me, tight on a lot of you guys, but if you wanna add movement, and this hurts like hell, but really good. And you can even do the movement in here too. It's so like in the middle, I like to do move too, as well. So that's the inner, it's the adductor. That'll open up your hips really good. And then we're gonna move to the calf here. So. With the calf and Achilles, what I like to do is I like to hit the Achilles first, like so down here, and I like to cross to add more pressure. If you're just starting out, maybe you want to start with just one leg, but for this, I'll show you two. So I'm crossing and I'm just sitting. You can see I'm sitting on that Achilles right there for like 10 nice and slow passes. I'm turning it, okay. And then I'm gonna hit my, after I do that for 10 times, I'm gonna hit my calf. So with the calf, um, I like to hit it in three spots again, so I'll hit it in the middle, hit it on the side, and I hit it in the inner. So like, I'll do, I'll start outside. So if you can see, like, I'll just do, I won't cross my foot. You should be crossing your foot, but I won't cross for this. So I'm gonna hit my outside of my calf, like this, and I'm gonna move over for like two passes in the middle, and I'm gonna turn it in, hit the inside part of the calf, right there, and then I'll go back to middle for two, outside for two. I'll do that about three times, okay, and then, um, then I'll hit the quad. So with the quad, um, 
I think you guys can go one leg at a time. A lot of people just do two legs, and that's like, I guess that's, that's really easy. You're really not, not feeling much from that. So what I like to do is this worked for me. I don't know if this is like proper foam rolling etiquette, but how I do this is to hit my to get my hip flexor a little bit, my psoas, I like to go, I like to hold onto the ground, and I'm right on my hip right now, and then I just roll up. And then I take this foot off if I'm really good. I take this foot off to add more pressure. So if you guys are advanced, you can take that foot off the ground. I sit on that hip, come right up to the top. If not, just add the, for less pressure, just put the foot on the ground like that. So if you're just starting off, start there. All right, okay. So now, cover muscle, lower body. I'm thinking I hit everything there. Um, the one thing, the one I wanna hit now is the back, so the upper back. So, um, how I like to do the upper back cross, and this is where if you guys have a partner, you can have your partner press down on you um, to give you more pressure, or if you have like a heavy, heavy med ball, you can price it around on your chest, or like just even a weight plate, be careful obviously. Um, don't do that out without, out without somebody's supervision or anything like that, but yeah, you can add some weight to your chest, and I'm just rolling on my upper back, crossing, cross like this actually, right on my upper back, just like that. And like I said, add pr adding pressure to this with a partner is just a great way too to improve the tissue quality there, get more out of it. All right, so after I'm done with that, I'm gonna do my lats. So it's better with a longer roller, but obviously I only have a half one today, so that's what I'm gonna use. So with the lats, I just turn to my side a little bit, and I go all the way down. Because you gotta remember your lats connect all the way, they go to run all the way to your low back. So I go right up my lat, and this doesn't tickle either, it hurts pretty bad. Okay, and I can do that same thing on the other side, I'm just turning. Um, the next one I wanna cover is, a lot of people miss this area. It's kinda where your lats connect, where all these adhesions are, like right, like you wanna put this right on your armpit, right? The foam roller. And then you wanna lean back, and you'll know when you hit it, because it hurts like hell. You just roll like right in that area. <sighs> Killer. That's a little tight area you guys can hit, a little one that you probably didn't know about. Um, the next one, I want to use the lax ball for um, the posterior cuff. So with this, I'm going to put this right behind my rotator cuff on the back side there. So I'm sitting all my weights on it. This hurts really bad right now. And I'm just going to do some movement with this. I'm going to do some internal. And I can't get back for that part. External. Yeah, and this hurts like hell. But really good for your cuff, your shoulders, guys. This is a good one to do for sure. So that yeah, I'm just doing internal, external. All right guys, so the last one um, for the lower body is the feet. Not a lot of you guys are addressing your feet. It's huge, it connects everything. Um, your hamstrings, your glutes, everything. So, um, and it feels awesome. So how I like to do it, I like to use a lax ball. You can use, again, you can use a baseball, racquetball. Um, I like the lax ball because it's a little more focal. Um, you can really drive in your feet. So um, how I, you can do it standing up, but I like guys leaning on the wall just so they can really just drive into that foot. And again, you want to go slow and control and just work it in. Nice and slow, drive into that foot should hurt pretty good. And just take, I, I would I would honestly spend two minutes on this, guys. This is this one and the glute are the, the ones you just want to spend the longest time on. Um, if you hit these, especially in season, you know, after a game, getting out of cleats, this is a great way, you know, before bed to get some, get some relief for your feet, really. All right, guys, so I wasn't going to show you these two, but if you have access to like a, a rack, a pole, um, you can even do this on a wall, but I like a pole. Um, we're going to go through a little a pack one I like. You can use them, actually, you can, you can do your pack on the floor with a foam roller, but um, I just think this hits it a lot better. So we're going to go pack on the rack, and then I'm going to show you a trap exercise too. So check this out. So I'm going to put this right on my belly of my pack, right? And I'm just going to drive into the, into the rack. I'm going to put all my weight on there. I'm just gonna drive in there. Just breathe for a little bit. Relax. And I'm gonna add some movement to it. So I'm gonna do some presses. Like 10 reps here. This really just opens up your pecs real good, your shoulders. I don't recommend ever rolling on the front of your uh, shoulder. Um, so I, I, I think if you hit your pecs and your traps, your lats, around the, the areas around, you don't really need to hit the front of your shoulder. I've seen a lot of problems that way, but anyway. So that one you wanna do, then you wanna do some, you can do some overhead reach, this movement. You see the balls moving on my pec. So I'm doing this. And then you can do some here, some movement this way. So just 
flies open. And remember to keep all your weight on there. Ball's not barely moving. And then there's another one you can do internal external rotation. And if you do like, I mean, you can do five to ten reps of each of these, and that that'll be really good for each pack. That'll open you up real good. Um, now I'm going to show you the trap one I use. I like this one a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here on my, my trap, right? And I'm going to drive into the rack. Right? Put all my weight there. Again, this hurts like hell, but it feels awesome when you're done. So just stay there and then get some, you know, take some deep breaths, relax, and then you can get some movement with your neck. So this way, this way, down, just move around with it, play with it, open up all the tissue, I mean you'll feel it guys, it'll, it'll hurt pretty good, just move in different directions, chill there for like 20 reps or so, and that'll be good, so that's that's my form really serious guys, hopefully um, you liked it, you can use it, implement your post game routine, your pre game routine, um, before workouts, um, those are all my favorite roles, all my athletes do them, they're having a lot of success with them, so try out today.